The first ball of day 11, it's short and it should be hit, and it is hit. And what a good start that is. Devendra Singh gets four runs. Short again from O'Connor. This is into a gap. This is another four. All right, now it's a false shot. This one should be out. Keepers called for it. And well, lucky he gets out the way at the end because it was straight to Saini who takes the catch. And that's a big wicket. Jaganiva son. He tries out the horizontal bat shot. And I was saying O'Connor had been a little bit short. Probably still agree, but it's just a miss hit. This is in the air, and this is going to go all the way. Maximo! First one of the day. And they're going to spin in the power plate. A little bit short. Finds the gap, finds the boundary again. So Tanwa, a bit hit and miss, to be honest. Goes for a dozen in the second, and the score, 22 for one after two. Last ball, the power plate coming up. Oh, it's a bit short again. It's a bit of a bad habit. Really the last ball getting away from O'Connor. Might be the attempted bouncer. This is hit square of the wicket. I mean, this is going to run away for four. But just okay in the air. And hanging. Danny O'Connor takes a brilliant catch. Well, the wonder kid does it again. How about this? And this is one... One time that I worried that maybe he needed his growth spurt to kick in sooner rather than later because I thought this was heading over his head. But Danny judged it perfectly. All right, this is in the air. Chance for Cope. And he has not caught it. Well, he kind of has caught it, but it bounces and then lodges in the back of his legs. Well, a few people saying that Vinarati experimenting a bit this morning. Well, this is an experimental way to take a catch. Let's have a look. It certainly carries. And then straight through the hands, bounces. And I thought for a second, is there some sort of way that that, that hasn't hit the ground? Well, have another go. In fact, you won't because that one's over your head by a long way. Maximo. Salt into the wound for Vinarati. The chance goes down. That means the batter's chain strike. And the next ball is pumped down to the ground. By Murali Vandrasi. Pitches up this time. And this is going to go all the way for four. And this is in the air. And this time O'Connor does it again. Well, all hail the wonder kid. Because this was heading over his head for six. Now, nah, Danny had other ideas. So robs the Maximo and comes up with another wicket for Vinarati. What a pair of catches there. There's a big bonanza on Saturday. Come to that in a second. But right now, this one isn't getting caught. No matter who you are, Vandrasi is standing there. And he's a guy who knows how to hit the boundaries. McGlynn just gets a little bit straight to him this time. Drifts into the pads. And adios, Pelota. Important Maximo. A little bit short. But it's gone. And now McGlynn gets a wicket. Vandrasi goes. He'll be upset with himself. It was short. Pretty much could have hit it anywhere he wanted on the offside. But he decided... He hit it straight to the field up. And he almost has a carbon copy, but this time it's down, it's into the gap, and it's the captain, Vamshi Matashetti, who gets off the mark with four. Well, this is a top edge in a way, but it's also going to fly out of the ground. Maximo! And he gets a fair piece of it. Into the gap, cope. He can't find a way to manufacture it back into the field of play, so Goyal gets off the mark. Bit like his captain with a four. Anyway, time for the ninth. And Voice is back. And that's gone. And it's come back. It's hit him right in front of off stump. And Voita chips in with a wicket. So, you've got to say that Vino's, they've just had the happy knack of picking up wickets when they've needed them. That was a fairly simple decision, I think, for the umpire. Cool. Gets this one slightly wrong. Yeah, it's a thigh-high full toss, and it disappears. Maximo! All right, last ball then. It's in the air. Again, it's going to put him right back to the wall. In fact, it'll go all the way. Maximo! It was Henry Wood out there. He, he's a tall young man, but even he wasn't able to do anything about it. So, Barbarians, they're going to finish 101 for 5 off their 10. <laughs>
Chobit gets one a little bit short, beats the infield. It'll be a tight chase, and the ball wins the race. Nudge and run from Schobert, and this is going to run away for four. Right, Hassa finally gets one in his zone, and he puts it away. Maximo! Well, this one's a little bit short. He takes it on, and he goes all the way. Maximo! Excellent shot by Schobert Barcia. Yeah. Said he's not going looking for trouble, but he sees one here that's a little bit short of a length. He feels he can get under it and pull it away, and that's exactly what he does. What a good shot that is. Well, he's hit straight to the man. He's gone. And it's Vojtak Jagadubasan that takes the catch. So Vojta going to be annoyed here. That's two balls in a row. The placement wasn't quite there. First time it went on the bounce to the fielder this time. Just kind of slightly sliced away. Vojtak's a very good fielder. We know that. This is going to be into the gap. And it's going to be four. And now he might have found another one. This is angled in, but he's found the fielder. And he's gone. A little bit of a juggle at the end. Oh, but Adnan will be so disappointed about this. And I think he kind of clutches that to his upper chest. <laughs> it's uh, Manet out there. Let's check out this catch. Really. Should have gone. You can see it's a proper juggle job, isn't it? But he does take it in the end. All right, takes it on. Has he got enough? He think, I think he has. Maximo! The show, but goes in the same general direction that he hit the other six in the innings. Ooh, pretty close. Yeah, he's gone. The only question was, was it going down the leg side? My initial reaction was it wasn't. So Mahite comes to the party with a wicket. Asani tries to move along. Oh, this is hit pretty well, and that's hit into the gap as well. So one bounce, four. Yeah, and takes this on leg side with a bit of power. Maximo! Yeah, goes for it. Thick outside edge and he's gone. So six and out. Mandrasi that takes the catch out there at deep cover point. And brave effort from Muiz. Yeah, he takes this on down the ground and he absolutely nails it. Maximo! What a shot by the Wonder Kid. And that's that's a decent cricket shot. Now, this is going to be a wicket. As Mahite gets one a bit straighter. And O'Connor, understandably, trying to swing it over the boundary. This one just left him a little bit, I think. Check it out. Just a little bit. Kits the outside edge of the off stump. But Danny, he'll certainly be happy with, with his... Six and he hits down the ground. Here's the last ball of match 52. Oh, it won't be. Well, I bet this is out. And if it is, it's wasted two minutes of the day. <laughs> because it's like, oh, maybe Vashak's helping us out here. Let's just have a look at the foot of McGlynn. Uh, oh, boy. I think you can't actually see when, where the... Stumps up. Because, because Vyshak's in the way. So I've got a suspicion he's out, but it's only a suspicion. So I think you'll have to end up giving that umpire's call. Yeah. There's certainly no video evidence to, to, suggest, to suggest one way or the other. So I think in those circumstances, they asked the umpire, okay, what do you think? And the um, umpire on the field said, yeah, I think that's out. Just missing the leg stump. So they'll come through for a leg bite. It's always frustrating when you only get one ball and you're not able to score, but this team will. And so Minerati, they're going to finish 86 for six after the 10 overs.